demonstration shows how to manipulate spline points through nudge type tools. Let's go ahead to the spline tool palette and let's pick out a spline to create. I'm going to create an interpolate spline which goes through a collection of points supplied by the, by the user. Let's go ahead and digitize uh, several points. And then uh, let's turn on a couple options to improve the display. I'm going to show my axis. This is the zero, zero axis of the um, drawing. And then I'm going to turn on uh, anti-alias uh, so the curves looks more smooth. Next, I'm going to go to the Edit Show Points command. And what this will do is show you the points that were used to create the spline. Now what we'll go ahead and do and is uh, start manipulating some of these points. The dashed points, that indicates that's a slope control point. And so by changing it, you will modify the tangent off the start or the end of the curve. Now let's go ahead and pick a point in between and we'll just click on it and, and drag it around. You can select one, two, or more points to do your dragging. Now let's go ahead and use our arrow keys to move the points. I'm going to go over to the my preferences, to the general, and I'm going to specify arrow nudge key distance. So this is the distance that the point will move whenever you click the arrow key. So I have it set at a tenth of an inch. We'll select the point and now I'm pressing the arrow key. I'm pressing the up, down, right, left keys. Now if you hold the shift key while you press the arrow key, it takes whatever distance you have and multiplies it by 10. So this is moving the point one inch at a time. And again, that works with uh, any collection of points that you have selected. And let's go ahead and grab the start point and the slope and move those. The next way I'm going to show to manipulate points is using the gripper. And let's go ahead and jump into a, uh, into an isometric view and let's turn the gripper on by displaying the inspector and then we go to the gripper settings and we'll put enable gripper. Now when we select a point we'll see our graphical user interface pop onto a point where we can now move that point by moving the handles of the gripper. And it's letting us see the distance too that these points are moved. Likewise, it works with a couple points. And if you have two points, it's going to do a rotation of the second point about the first point. And uh, that's it for manipulating points by nudging.